Hello, I'm Pastor Laura Glover, Senior Chaplain at Epworth Villa, and the encouraging word for today is encourage. We are celebrating for the season of Lent the theme of one anothering, how it is that Jesus calls us to treat one another throughout scripture. And the theme for this week, the action word is encourage. So I want to read to you today from Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 and 25. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Encouragement is important, but you know what? It's probably a broader term than we think of at first glance. By all means, I hope that you will encourage one another by doing the things that we're all familiar with, giving someone a compliment, building them up, telling them how much they mean to you, supporting them in what they're doing. But there are other ways to encourage that are equally important. It's also important that we show dignity and respect for each person as a way of encouraging them. As Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, our chief want is someone who will inspire us to be what we know we could be. And so more than complimenting what someone is doing, how about encouraging them to be their best selves? Sometimes that means speaking to each other in truth and offering grace. Sometimes it means not letting each other settle for the way we've always done it. Sometimes it means encouraging each other to see things from a new perspective or try a whole new way. So I pray for you today that you will be encouraged and that you too will go forth and encourage one another in all the ways it's needed.